Hello everyone and welcome to the Kukuli Bushcraft channel. Okay, so the subject of today's video is a rather strange axe. So it's Japanese, it's the Mizuno, how's it go? Seisa Kujo Small Masakari. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> so I saw this for sale second hand. Uh, for a good price, uh, so yeah, the experience I have with Japanese tools is they're really, really weird, but extremely effective. So yeah, so I thought I'd buy this and see what it's like. Uh, first thing is the rectangular handle around the top is not the most comfortable thing in your hand for doing fine work. Uh, but yeah, it, it's raining a bit now. When that stops, I'm gonna take this outside and cut down some trees and do some other work. Uh, I've got some axes, some ax heads that need hafting. So I'll maybe work on a couple of ax handles, take a couple of trees down and see how this thing performs. The really weird thing about this is the eye. Uh, so for a start, they've got these two wedges that haven't been hammered home fully. Uh, where they go in, there's actually a little bit of cracking around the wedges. Uh, I actually, on knives and tools, I found a review by the guy who actually, who I actually bought this axe from, and he said that there was a little bit of cracking and that it had totally closed up with a few treatments of oil. Uh, well, it's opening up again now. I don't know if you can see that. Focus. Yeah. But never mind, that's not the end of the world. It feels quite secure. If it comes loose, I can knock these pegs in a little bit further. So, yeah, apparently it's quite normal from what I've uh, from what I've seen in my little bit of research that the pegs come like this uh, and when the axe head works loose you knock them in a little bit further. I've also seen a video where somebody had a peg that he put down the front. You can have a peg down the front or down the back. Some of the larger axes apparently come with removable pegs that you put down to one side and then you can pull them out take the axe apart it's all very strange uh, there is a little bit of a gap there at the top as well can we see that they don't have wedges that open outwards in this direction because of the shape of the eye. We've got like weak points in the corners, whereas with a more traditional or a more Western axe. Yeah, so with it being more of an oval shape, uh, the, uh, the wedges can force out basically in both directions but the main wedge is usually going that way but with this rectangle style it just gives a little bit and forwards and backwards you know if you think where the force is going that works too and as for these markings uh, it's supposed to represent eight mountains. Uh, only you can only see seven of them because one of them brings bad luck. Uh, it's supposed to be some kind of a Shinto prayer or blessing uh, that's supposed to protect you during dangerous work. It doesn't feel particularly sharp. It's not bad. But yeah, very strange. I really kind of like the, I like the weight of it and the length of it. I think this would make quite a, a nice little hiking axe. It's, it's not too big. 
but it's uh, it, it's got just about enough heft in it. Little kind of PU cover goes on here. Nothing much, nothing fancy, but it'll do its job. Yeah, let's see how it does. With a weight of just over two pounds, 98 grams to be precise, it's very light, a little bit too light for this kind of work maybe, but it's getting there. The trees I am cutting here are going to be used for fence posts. So I'm not just cutting trees down for fun. Straight grained pine, quite easy wood, but yeah, it's doing a good job of it. some axe handles so 42 centimeter handle so that's 16.5 inches more or less it's small enough to not get in the way while doing finer tasks the handle is by the way made of oak and in the woods one of my main uses for an axe is processing fat wood And of course, no bushcraft video would be complete without fire. Okay, so the pegs, I've knocked them, I've knocked them flush, so, yeah, I left them loose to see as if the head had hold fast, and basically, <laughs> it started to come loose, so I've knocked them fully in, which I guess is what you're supposed to do, it's just the atmosphere is quite humid and moist in Japan, so before they ship these to other countries, well, they basically don't finish it because as if they pack them and the heads are quite moist when they dry up, they'll loosen up. Uh, so the uh, wedges are hammered home. It's now good and solid. And how did it do? Well, 
it's it's a good weight. I, I like the weight, uh, and for for limbing, for felling, and for harvesting fatwood, it was a really good little axe. For the fine carving, I uh, I did a little bit of work on some axe handles, and uh, yeah, for for the fine work, it's uh, I. Don't, it doesn't feel very controlled. I think uh, it, it rotates a little bit in your hand unless you hold it up here on the rectangular section, which is really actually not very comfortable. But yeah, it's not, it doesn't feel very precise, but it's kind of quite a good weight for doing light tree work. Very interesting tool maybe maybe one for the collection rather than for regular use i hope you've enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching please drop us a comment and uh, give us a thumbs up and i'll see you all again soon for another googly bushcraft video bye for now